Lots of work being done on this Labor Day on the campaign trail. Good evening. I'm Sean Hegarty. Laura Emerson is off tonight. That campaigning started today at the annual Labor Day parade. Fox Toledo's Christy Lee is live now with what's being said about the vice president's appearance today. Well, there's some debate over the reason for Vice President Joe Biden's second visit to the Toledo area in just two weeks. While some are saying it was to honor middle class workers, others think it was an attempt to pump up falling poll numbers for Democratic candidates. He recognizes how important our city is and our state, and he's no, he's really want us to know that the White House and that um, cabinet is really thinking of us and giving us their support as much as they can. Great onlookers were excited to see the VP and say the visit lifted spirits. But it's not just spirits that need lifted. Latest poll numbers released from the Columbus Dispatch show Democrats lagging down double digits in both the U.S. Senate and governor's races. Governor Strickland trails Republican challenger John Kasich by 12 points. I haven't been a perfect person or a perfect governor, never claimed to have been, but I do work hard for the people. I care about um, the working middle class. I'm doing everything I can to bring jobs back to our state. We appreciate the fact that he thinks he's tried hard, but in this economy, you don't get a trophy simply for showing up at work each day. You know, Ted Strickland has failed Ohio, and Ohioans have moved on from him. By contrast, John Kasich has a record of balancing budgets, reducing spending, creating jobs, and he continues to lay out his plan to get Ohio back on track. Today's visit probably won't be the last time we could see high-profile politicians on the campaign trail. Governor Strickland says he expects both President Obama and VP Biden back in the state soon. And Strickland's campaign appears to be banking on those visits to help push him over the top. As for the Senate's race, Strickland's second-in-command, Lieutenant Governor Lee Fisher, trails former Congressman Rob Portman by 13 points. Reporting live tonight, Christy Lee, Fox Toledo News.